Alright, it looks like we're just pumping out videos. Uh, just because I'm bored and not sure what to do before the show. So, uh, this video, as you can probably see by the description, is on uh, the little Kenyan roach, Paraplecta. Um, it's kind of debated which species they are. Uh, we don't really know. Um, some people in Europe were saying Parva, um, but I don't think we can really be certain of anything until we get, like, uh, an actual, you know, entomologist or something to look at it. Let's see if I can find. They're all up in here. Ah. Yeah, they, they all like to hide in the wood in here. See? There's a couple. It's kind of hard to scare them out, to be honest. They really like it in there. Um, but these are one of the smaller roaches. Um, nymphs are about the size of fruit flies, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, females are jet black, and they almost look like mini versions of hissa roaches, if you can believe that. Um, let me see if I can find some just kind of crawling around. Ah, here we go. So that's like a bigger female, along with a nymph crawling around. Yeah. That's them. Um, so they make a really good uh, bioactive cleanup crew. I actually do like to use them as uh, kind of like a cleanup crew within a cleanup crew. So I'll culture them with like my hisser roaches and stuff, and they help clean up along with the isopods. Um, they also make a pretty good food for like small like micro geckos and lizards and stuff. I already made a video about the micro roach, the uh, Comsodes uh, schwartzi. Um, those are even smaller than these, but these are still pretty cool too. Um, the micro roach is almost just overkill for how small they are. Like, not very many things need something that small. But um, these uh, little Kenyan roaches, see, that's a full grown female, and this is my finger. They're very small. And, um, so only, like, the adult males can climb glass, um, pregnant females can't, and nymphs can't, so you don't really have to worry, uh, too, too much about them getting out. I still use a gasket tub and stuff, because I'm paranoid like that, but, um, you definitely don't have to. Uh, I like to use, like, lots of natural rotten wood and leaves, but I know people who culture them similar to, like, dubia roaches. They do need a lot more humidity. Than like dubia roaches though, so you need to make sure you accomplish that somehow. Um, I use like an inch and a half of peat moss and uh, compost and soil along with some long fiber sphagnum and leaves. Um, they actually do eat the leaves, so I replenish them pretty regularly. Um, I also give them like uh, dry cat or dog food every now and again, but most of their diet is squash, like butternut squash or carrots. Um, they go nuts for that, but they do like their protein every now and again. Um, they'll also eat fish food. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool little roaches to have. Um, I highly recommend them just because, I mean, even besides, like, their, their usefulness, which they are very useful, um, I think they're just cute. They're, they're cute little guys. Harmless and tiny. Like I said, their taxonomy is kind of debatable, but who really cares? They're, they're cute, and that's all that matters. Um, but yeah. I'll have these at the San Jose Reptile Show, so you can take a look at them. Or buy some if you feel like it. Um, but yeah. Very, very cool little guys. Um, I think that for a long time, um, and this is still kind of a similar thing, I, whenever I go to reptile shows and stuff, it's the weirdest thing. So people will ask for mealworms, superworms, fruit flies, and dubia roaches. Now, I don't really breed dubia roaches. I have a small colony, small, small colony. It's just for my personal use. Um, I don't bother to take the time to breed them in mass. Um, but people ask for them all the time, and so I don't have them. So I recommend some of my other roaches, because I breed like, I don't know, 30-something other different types of roach. And people do not want to buy them. They've been so, like... Like, at first people were, like, brainwashed into, like, the cricket thing. And then people started to learn how shitty crickets were. And then dubia roaches became the huge fad. Um, 
but now people are just like so dead set on dewy roaches and I'm like people they're not the only roach out there there's many different types of roaches dewy roaches are not like some siri you know end all be all you know pinnacle of all roaches most nutritious roach out there you know because they're not um don't get me wrong dubias are an excellent feeder um but there's other stuff out there and variety is the spice of life you know give your animals as much variety as you can at least i like to and um especially for people like like dubia roaches have harder shells and they have a tendency to play dead and burrow which makes them kind of a pain to feed there's so much more out there, um, so much more enrichment for your animals. I don't know if different roaches have different flavors to lizards and stuff, but who knows, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, add some variety to your, your animals' lives. Get them, get, get them different stuff. Or just, you know, culture these for fun, which is perfectly okay, too. You know, that's what I do. Um, but yeah, um trying to I've been up in my roach game lately I've gotten a bunch of roaches uh, from Brandon Mains I, I've already had a decent sized collection to begin with but I'm just branching outward into rare and rare stuff as I get more com uh, comfortable um, I've already had success with a bunch of other species that I've you know put on here um, and some that I haven't I, I'm getting around to doing more roach videos they don't do nearly as well as my isopod videos not that I really care, I just do these videos for fun. But it seems like people are more interested in the isopod type videos. Which, you know, I have no problem making those. My my next two videos are probably going to be isopods. Might throw a beetle in there or something. Um, I basically do whatever I feel like. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe if you have any questions about these. Feel free to ask. And uh, come say hi to me at the Reptile Show this weekend. Have a good one, guys.